So today's video is all about worry and why you shouldn't. YouTube, it's your girl Anitra here with Different by Design, and I'm back today with another episode of Ice Coffee Conversations. Y'all saw the title, y'all know what it is. Still, hashtag stay home, still, hashtag with me. Come ready with your beverage of choice iced coffee, hot coffee, your tea, whatever you choose, water, stay hydrated. Are you prepared today? Every time you tune into an iced coffee conversation, you should be prepared with two items. Your beverage of choice and your Bible app. So today's video was actually inspired by a situation that I found myself in yesterday. I was completely worried and completely stressed out over trying to get something accomplished and it just seemed like no matter what it just wasn't going to get done because we are still on lockdown every time i tried a different way to complete the task i bumped up against the obstacle tried it a different way that way didn't work either and then at one point i just had to stop and recognize maybe i should pray a little bit more about the situation i stopped to pray ask the lord to give me wisdom on how to take care of it and how to get it done but he didn't need me to do it because he had already worked it out. And so I'm coming to you today to share with you the three reasons why you shouldn't worry. Based on my own personal experience, reason number one, you shouldn't worry because worry is a complete and utter waste of time. Well, I recognized yesterday that in all of my frenzy and panic and stress, that my worrying about the situation didn't get the situation taken care of. It was just a complete waste of time. I could have really been focused on something else. I really could have taken a, a, a seat, had several seats, and, and, and recognized that the chill pills were to my left, prayed about it, and let the Lord handle my battle for me. But no, I tried to be in control. I tried to take care of it on my own. I wanted God to be my co-signer, to be my co-pilot. And it showed me that he didn't need my help. He needed me to chill out so he could take care of it for me. Reason number two. The reason why you shouldn't worry is because you're not in control. I feel like we're all in a situation right now dealing with this whole COVID-19 thing. I heard Governor Andrew Cuomo say this virus is the great equalizer. It has no respect for race, religion, class, gender, None of the things that we use to determine who's worth anything and who should get what, and who should ha have access, money, popularity on social media, none of that stuff matters right now. Anybody could catch COVID-10. When we find ourselves in situations like this where none of us have any control, none of us have a say, we're all encouraged to stay home. I feel like this is the perfect time and I feel like God has the world in a situation where we have to learn that we're not in control and that he's in control. Even though this virus is running rampant, there's someone that we can defer to when we find ourselves in need of groceries, in need of companionship, in need of whatever it is you find yourself in need of. You're not sure where your next paycheck is coming from, any of that stuff. God is in control. He got you. He has your back. There's no need to worry. So just keep that in mind. Reason number three, why you shouldn't worry. Because God takes care of his kids. I probably want to pause for the cause right now because like I said, the Bible says the Lord takes care of his own. He takes care of his kids. This is the perfect day to check in to make sure that you are one of his kids. Now is the perfect time to check in and make sure you are actually one of his children. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, now is the perfect time to do so. As we can all clearly see, tomorrow is not promised. So if you have not accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior, 
if you have not chosen to develop a relationship with Jesus Christ, now is the perfect time to do so. It's as easy as ABC. I'll wait. And God's waiting too. So Matthew 6, 25-34 basically tells us that we should take no thought for our life. What we're going to eat, what we're going to drink, what we're going to wear. None of that stuff is the concern of a child of God. Why? Because the Lord provides for his kids. This situation reminded me of a time where I was still in grad school and I was stressed over money. I remember being at a train station and I was waiting on the platform and there happened to just be a random McDonald's french fry just laying there on the platform. Just people were walking past it. It wasn't, you know, people were just walking around it and nobody was going to pick it up clearly. But a couple seconds later, there was a bird who was happy to take care of the random french fry that was on the platform. It almost seemed like the whole situation was just set up just so I could witness it. And it kind of drove home this whole Matthew 6, 25 through 34, where it talks about how the birds and the flowers and the animals, and they don't have to worry because the Lord has taken care of them. And that random French fry and that bird was there to teach me a lesson. The bird didn't stand in line and request hot fries. The bird didn't stand in line and pay for the fry. The bird was provided for. There was a bird that was in need and the fry was there to meet that need. The Lord took care of the bird with the french fry. And so every time I find myself in a situation where I'm stressed, I'm worried, and I'm not sure, and all of my frantic movements and trying to get stuff done in my mover and shaker mentality is hitting up against the wall and you know wanting to be Miss Independent and I got it and I don't like all of that doesn't matter. The Lord takes care of his kids. The next time you find yourself in a state of panic, in a state of stress, in a state of worry, feeling anxious, feeling like you're not sure where, feeling like you have to do it on your own and feeling like you have to take care of things on your own, just keep that in mind and just remember that your worry won't change the situation because you're not in control and you don't have to be in control because God provides for his children. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of Ice Coffee Conversations. Please comment below and tell me about your situation. Let me know if this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form. Again, I'm your girl Anitra with Different by Design and you have a great day.